Hey guys, it's Inspiron41. I'm back here with the Notion Inc. In today's episode, I'll be demonstrating how to root your device in order to install Google services, including the Android market. And in the second part, I'll be demonstrating how to restore your Notion Inc. back to its original manufacturing conditions. In this section, we'll be discussing how to root your Notion Inc. atom. Basically, you're giving your Notion Inc. the ability to access Google services like the Android Market, Gmail, and a whole range of other applications. In no way will this process erase any of the current software or applications on your Notion Inc. So what do you really need for this section? You either need one of two things, a micro USB adapter for your PC or a micro SD adapter for your micro SD card. I generally prefer using the micro, S micro USB cable for this process. It's simple and I don't need to remove the micro SD card from the Notion Inc. So basically once you got those two things, head over to notioninkhacks.com and find this web page that says update Notion Inc. Atom update root market ad hoc how to guide. It's a very self explanatory guide and at the bottom you'll notice two links One of them is for the LCD and the other one is for the Pixie Chi. Just download whatever file you need for your corresponding model. And once you've done that, open up your downloaded file and extract it to your desktop. And you should get two folders or files. One is the recovery folder and the other one is the update. Once you have that done, take the micro USB cable and hook up your Notion Inc. Atom to your PC. Turn on the USB storage and just transfer these two files to the main rooted root folder. you should see the update and the recovery and in the recovery folder you should see the command once you've done that turn off your Notion Inc. Atom power it off And then, on the right side, hold the volume rocker up, or the plus sign, and hold the power button at the same time. You'll see a couple, it says detecting recovery key press, and it'll bring you to this folder. From here, it'll give you several options. The two we're interested in is are these two here, which are either apply internal SD update 
or apply external SD card update. Now if you install the update zip file to with the USB cable, it should be in the internal SD card. Or if you install the update onto your micro SD card, it should be the external. Once you've done that, just click down with using your power button and you should see this occurring. It's pretty fast, it takes less than a second. Once that's done, so let it boot up as normal. So once your device rebooted, turn on your device and head your way over to the settings. Here we need to erase your user data. It basically will reset your Google account uh, settings and such and in no way will it delete any of your f applications or software or photos or anything on your SD card. It'll basically say, hey, this device needs to log on to Google. And hit the reset button, add them right here. Once that's done, you'll have access to the Google Market and a whole range of other services. It might force close a couple of times in the beginning, but just keep reactivating it. Eventually, it will run very smoothly for you. No problems at all. You might even see some of the paid applications that you purchase off your smartphone, which is even better. So, I hope you like that. In this section, we'll be talking about how to restore your Notion ink back to its original manufacturing condition. So, head over to notioninkhack.com and find this webpage called How to Unbreak Your Notion Ink Atom. The instructions are a little bit more involved than rooting, but it's fairly simple. Instructions are very detailed and find the section called download. From here you need there's four options window PC L C D or Linux PC L C D or the Pixie Chi and download the corresponding folder to your model. So I'm running Windows 7 64 bit I'm going to choose Windows PC Pixie Chi Atom. Once you've done that, unzip the file. You'll find everything here that you need to use to restore your Notion Ink back to its original manufacturing condition. Once you've done that, turn off your atom, power off, plug in the micro USB adapter. Now here's where it differs from the routing. You have to hold the power down which is the minus button and hold down on the power button at the same time you'll see the screen flicker for a second normally when you do this for the first time you should see a, a notification menu here saying it's detecting a unknown device 
depending on your Windows model, it will either detect it as an APX device immediately, or it will identify it as an unknown device. If it's the latter, you need to install the APX drive. If it doesn't, if it detects it as an APX drive, you don't need to do anything else. But if you need to install the driver, so the APX, go to your control panel, search for device manager. This should be normally under your system folder. Once you've done that, There should be an icon here uh, indicating that APX driver needs to be installed. Now I already have it installed, but if in case you do need to it, just right click on the APX icon and update your driver software. It'll give you two options. You want to select browse your computer for driver software. Now go over to that extracted Pixie Chi or LCD folder that you unzipped and find it. Basically we want to select the USB PC driver and click OK. And also include subfolders hit next. Normally when you do this for the first time I'll say uh, Windows will give a security prompt and asking you whether you should go ahead and install it but just click OK and continue. It'll take a couple seconds or a minute depending on your, how fast your computer is and it'll install the NVIDIA USB boot recovery driver for mobile devices. Hit close. Once you've done that, you're ready to restore your Notion Inc. In the unzip folder that you downloaded earlier, find the downloaded dot bat file. Double click that and a, win a black window should appear and it'll go ahead and process the recovery phase. I'm not going to click on it since I already rooted my device but from there once it's complete just reboot your device and your Notion Inc. Atom will be restored back to its original manufacturing conditions. Now if you have any other questions or questions, please feel free to ask me. I'll try my best to answer them. Um, Alright, take care guys.